Hello friends, in this video let's talk about what is a group by class in PostgreSQL. What is the purpose of group by class? So this is one of the important class in any RDBMS which groups data based on certain conditions. Yes, in the real time you might need to group the data based on certain condition. So let's take you, you are working on a, a, a finance or payroll application. So you might need to identify so department wise how much the company is spending. Let us take a technical department how much uh, a money that company is spending on the technical associates. So how much uh, 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 amount uh, like a, a company is spending on the finance um, uh, department as a part of expenses, as a part of salary, as part of uh, uh, infrastructure or something like that. So it divides the rows based on certain criteria. So if you see in the real time, a table might contain thousands of records, but when you apply group by, when you apply certain uh, uh, conditions, certain groupings, then it will uh, uh, come down to 10 rows or 5 rows or 1 row or couple of rows because you are grouping the data. See when you group the data, so it depends on now how many groups you have that many records will come in your result set. First of all, how to apply uh, a group by clause on a data. So first let me show you what is the data which I am planning to use for my example. So I have a, a employee table, so which contains around 11 records you can see and around uh, five columns are there. So if you see the data here, so this is employee ID, employee name and location. So if you see all my employees are scattered across the countries like UK, USA and India, three locations are there. Next, even a department ID also like these uh, people are uh, split across multiple departments. So 10, 20, 30, 40 and 50 I have. And the salary, obviously, each and every associate uh, will be having a different salary. So none of the associates' salary might be matching. Maybe, maybe again, it matches, but ideally, so you you cannot say based on the salary uh, categorization here. But yeah, these are around eleven records are there. So now, what I want is I want the list of people who are working in each and every country. That is the first requirement. So first, let me see the uh, syntax of the group by class. So the syntax is you can you can simply write the syntax like um, select query. So let me write select uh, select uh, some column names. Column names from table name group by group by columns column names. So you might be having a question. So can I use a where class along with group by? Yes, you can use it. So you can use a uh, where clause and all other classes as well and order by also you can use it. Okay. But again, group by clause, you need to specify after the where class. Okay. So let us say you have a where class means let's specify like this where um, condition condition then group by class like this. You need to use it. So let me make it as SQL so that you understand. Yeah, this is how you need to specify it. Now let me uh, uh, quickly come to this uh, place here. What is the first requirement is so uh, get the list of our count of employees not list get a uh, count of um, employees in each location. Okay, so now let me quickly come here. I need to apply a group by here. So let me write down. Let me keep that original as it is. So total is 11 employees are there at the end again. I need to match with 11 employees select. So let me keep like this first. Uh, I'll keep the column names empty from EMP group by. So on what basis I want is my requirement is I need each location wise employees. So now I need to apply group by on location. Okay, that's it. So now let's copy the same location here and count of uh, because I, I want to see so where exactly is the account means individual location uh, wise employees, right? There's a reason why I, I want to specify location name as well along with the count. So if I run this, I'll get the list of people who are working for each and every employee, each and every location. Okay. Counted, not, uh, not details count. If I run it. So if you see here, UK, four employees, USA, four employees and India, 
3 employees. If you sum it again, 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 3 total is 11. Total employees 11 is matching. So this is the so list of employees, count of employees is working in on location wise. Next requirement. So let's go for the next. So I want so get count of employees MPS in each department. Okay, the same query it will work. So I am going to make it as DEPT ID here. So here also I need to make it as DEPT ID. Now my result, my requirement is varying. So I want the department wise employee count. Okay, so that is the reason why I, I kept department ID here. I kept um, department ID here. Okay, so let's run this. Now 40, uh, two, two people are there in the 40 department, 30 department 2, 10 to 51, 24. Total, if you see, 2 plus 2 plus 6, 6 plus 1, 7, 7 plus 4, 11. So, this is a list of people who count of people in each department. Now, so next scenario is I want uh, sum of a total salary, let us say total salary in each department, sum of the salaries in each department. Okay, so that time what I need to do instead of count, I can put as count also, comma, sum of sal. So now here, this will give me department wise how much salary company is spending. Let's run this. You can see it 40 department 5800, 30, 5, 6800, 10, 7000, 50, 3500, 20, 12400. So this is the department wise total salary along with employee count. How many employees are there and how much salary they are paying? Next one is what is the average salary of each department? Average uh, salary of um, each department. I want average salary of each department. So maybe this is the total salary of each department. Now I want average salary of each department. Let's take it AVG. Every AVG is a function. Make it a sal. Now let's run this. As you can see, this is a since it's a uh, numeric, you will get like this. The average salary here twelve thousand four hundred by four. Obviously, right? You get three thousand three thousand one hundred. I have only in uh, one one employee. That's the reason why three thousand five hundred. Here it is two employees divided by two. Here it is this one, this one. So this is the average salary of each department is this much. Not in the company. Uh, com not, this is not a company average. This is a department average salary. When you say company average, you do not need to apply this. You can simply apply a AVG salary of uh, uh, entire uh, organization. In the same way, if you want on the location wise, you can simply replace here with the location. So nothing to worry. You can simply replace this location. Here, let's apply this. So now I'll get so location wise employee count, location wise total uh, salary, so location wise average also you see. Since I have only three locations, that's the reason why I got only three records here. I have five departments, I got five records there. So if you see, irrespective of the records count in a table, you are grouping the data based on certain columns. <coughs> so in the same way, in the real time, you might need to apply. So location-wise expenses, location-wise salaries, or uh, like a unit-wise, business unit-wise, and all. So it, it is up to you till what level you need the uh, data. So you even you even you can you can put it as a location with department here. I'm going to make it as department as well. DEPT ID. So here location comma department average I want here. Now if you see here, I'll get many records. Now the combination. So how many departments are there? Now let's uh, UK is uh, two places I have. So UK is 10, 10, UK, 10 department is there in UK as well as uh, uh, 30 and uh, 20. So that is the reason why record count is varying here. So let me make it as order by here so that um, yeah, now if you see here, so, so that you can easily get it. These first records are India. India has two departments. So I have a total three employees in, in the uh, entire um, uh, across the departments. This is this and this UK has uh, three departments. USA has four departments. Highest dep number of departments is in USA. So this is how we apply a group by. 
so you you can keep multiple columns also in the group by condition but when you keep a multiple um, columns in the group by condition the grouping data set might uh, um, uh, uh, get it in a multiple permutations and combinations so when when you apply only location wise or when you apply only department wise you got very less number of records but when you mix both yes uh, due to the permutations and combinations you might get more number of records now it is up to you till what level you need the data till what level you need to apply as per the requirement that's all about a group by clause in the postgresql if you have any questions please don't hesitate you can drop your question in the comment section i'll try to answer as soon as possible also follow me on facebook for more technical updates please like and subscribe for more technical videos